Hello designers and illustrators, I'm Michael with Bizarre Design Lab. And I'm Busy Dizzy. And we're here with another story tutorial on how to use the Pathfinder panel in Adobe Illustrator CC. It's very wise of you to join us, investing in yourself as you grow in your craft. Investing in yourself as you grow in your craft. Thanks, Mr. Miyagi. <sighs> Not you again. Come on, you know you're happy to see me. I'm only trying to prevent you from wasting time on another tutorial. You know, Christopher, a creative pro who stops growing becomes stale and limited in his skills. The solution to keeping your creative drive alive is to continually challenge yourself. He's right, Chris. I think I'll be okay. If you want to follow along with us, the link to download the exercise file is in the description below. Open that up in Illustrator CC and let's combine some shapes. Suit yourself, losers. Just don't come crying to me when you screw it all up. I'm out of here. Busy, are you okay? Your face looks a little mangled. I'll be fine, but I do need your help. You're going to have to surgically rebuild my face using Pathfinder. Are you sure I'm ready? Michael, you'll be fine. I'll provide the shapes. You just have to assemble them. You can do this. Okay, where do we start? Let's get back to the lab first. Okay, we're going to start with the shape modes in the Pathfinder panel. Make sure that the Pathfinder panel is visible by coming up to Window, Pathfinder. I'm going to keep mine tucked away up here in the corner. The first shape mode we're going to use is called Unite. This combines all the selected objects into a single larger shape. I'll show you here with these two circles. If I click both of these circles, then click Unite, you can see they're joined as one. Now I'll undo that, and I want to show you, make sure you saw this. The topmost object was the green one, the one behind it was red. It took on the topmost object's color. Okay, I'll undo that again. Now we're going to use Unite to fix my glasses. These are two separate shapes. We'll click on this one and this one, then Unite. They're now joined together. Let's put my glasses on top of my face. The second shape mode is the minus front shape mode, which allows you to use any top object to create a cutout from the one underneath. I'll show you again with these two circles. By selecting both, I'll click minus front. As you can see, the green circle that was in front cut out the red one behind it. I'll undo that and show you one more time. Minus front, so we're minusing this one. There we go. Okay, I'll undo that. Now we're gonna use minus front to punch the lenses through the frames. If you can see, the frames are a solid color behind there. So now I'm gonna group these first by clicking Control G or Command G on a Mac. Now I'll click the frame and click minus front. Now we have a new object that's been punched out. The third shape mode is intersect which will create a new shape by using the overlapping sections of the selected objects. Once again, we'll go to our two circles and click Intersect. As you can see, if I undo that, only the place where these two circles meet is what ends up. There you go, and once again, it takes on the color of the frontmost object. Now we're going to utilize the Intersect to fix the skin on the face to where it has this curve on the top. So we have to find a shape that also has that curve. And this brown shape in the back here has the curve we want. So what we'll do is we'll click the brown shape, then we'll click the skin and click intersect. Now our new shape is exactly what we wanted. Now I want to teach you about compound shapes. We'll build this section of my mouth using these three shapes. Make sure that you have smart guides turned on, which is under view, smart guides. Grab one of these circles, shift, Click on the other, click and drag them both up until the smart guide intersects the middle of the circles with the bottom of the rectangle. Now, these are th still three separate shapes. We could just unite them, as we learned earlier. I'm going to undo that to make a compound shape. Holding down Alt or Option on a Mac, we'll click Unite again. It doesn't appear to have done anything, but it does retain the character of every one of these shapes so that if you wanted to go back 
and make adjustments later, you could. Now let's drag this over on top of my mouth. I'm going to make another adjustment here. Clicking on the A key will get my direct selection tool. I'm going to click this corner of the mouth and this corner of the mouth and adjust the corners. So I have a rounded corner. Great. It's starting to really look like me again. The last of the shape modes is exclude. And exclude works very much like intersect except the exact opposite. So let's press V to get our selection tool back. I'll highlight both of those shapes. Now when we used intersect, this shape is the only one that remained in the middle here. But when we use exclude, as you can see, we have two separate shapes on the outside. Everything that wasn't intersecting remained. I'll undo that. Now I'm going to use exclude to get my ears back. First we'll move the shape up to the desired location. And we can see if we use this brown beard shape again, we can make a cut on both of these sides. When I click the brown shape, and I click the ears, and then click exclude, we have something close to what we want, but not quite. If I move this over, you'll see that the beard has disappeared. So let's undo that. The reason why that happens is because we're excluding everything that's not intersecting. One way to fix this is to make a copy of the shape that I'm using to cut out the other shape. In this case, it's the brown shape. So I'm gonna come up here, choose copy, then paste in front. Now, we have two versions of the brown shape. I'm gonna click on the top one, then I'm gonna click the ear shape again, then exclude. Now, we have the ears where we want them, but we also have these other shapes. So these are all grouped together. What we have to do now come out to Object, Ungroup, and then click these individual unwanted shapes and press Backspace or Delete to get rid of them. I know that can get confusing, so I'll do it one more time. I'll undo back to this point. I'll drag this shape up to where I want it. I'll click the brown shape, make a copy, copy, paste in front. I'll click the top copy of the shape, click this shape, exclude. Now I'll ungroup them. Click that shape, delete, click that shape, delete. There we go. So that was the shape modes, which is the top four functions in the Pathfinder panel. Now we'll talk about the next six functions down here, which Illustrator calls the Pathfinders. Divide is the first one we'll look at. Divide cuts the artwork into separate pieces wherever shapes overlap. I'll illustrate that with these three shapes. I'll join them together first. Now I'll select them all and click Divide. It doesn't look like anything happens, but if you come in here, I'll click A for my direct selection tool. Everywhere where the artwork overlaps another piece of artwork, it gets cut out. So now let's undo that. I want to show you Divide to do my nose. First thing I'll do is grab this rectangle and slide it over until it snaps on the middle of the triangle. Now I'll click on the triangle so they're both selected and click Divide. Ungroup them, and I can move this around and get rid of this piece, because I don't need it. I'll make this shape the color I want. Select them both, and drag it in place. I'll be honest, I don't use these last four Pathfinder functions very much, but let's go through them so you at least know what they do. We'll start with Trim. Trim removes the parts of the objects that are overlapping or hidden. So let's select again these three objects and click Trim. If I zoom in, click my direct selection tool, you can see only the parts that were overlapping were trimmed. There we go. Okay, I'll undo that. Now I'll show you what Merge does. Remember, the star and this circle are different shapes, but they are the same color, and that's the difference between Trim and Merge. So I'll select them all, click Merge. Now if I click my Direct Selection tool, it joins all the red, but it keeps everything else separate. Okay, I'll undo that. Now we'll look at the Crop tool. Select them all once again. We're going to take a look at the Layers panel, because the topmost shape, in this case, is the circle, is what is used to crop the remainder of the shapes. So if we click the crop tool here, everything else that was underneath the circle got cropped. 
So let's undo that, and let's try something else. Let's move the star above the other two shapes. So now if I click crop again, it crops the circle and the larger circle in the back to the star shape. Let's undo that again. This time I'm going to put the green ellipse above the other two, which are behind it. Can you guess what's going to happen? Let's click crop and find out. Since these shapes were encompassed by the circle itself, they remained and the larger circle is gone. Now let's get rid of this and for the last pathfinder we have minus back. And this is very similar to minus front but the opposite. So select them all, click minus back and the back punches up through the front shape instead of the other way where the front punches through the back. Pretty simple to understand. Well, I think we've got my face patched up. Let's get these bandages off and see how you did. Look at that. I'm a brand new busy baby. I think the Pathfinder panel is really going to level up my design and illustration game. It sure will. And while your work has just begun, the work I came to do is done. Toodles, Michael. Thanks, busy. I hope you enjoyed that story tutorial. I'm sure you can imagine that you'll need quite a bit of practice before you really start to get the hang of these tools. As Busy mentioned, your work with the Pathfinder tool truly has just begun. Are there other Illustrator tools or processes that you want Busy and I to tackle? Please comment below with your ideas. As always, if you like the video, please click the like button below. It's a good way to say, hey Mike, I don't just think I like, I know. And to join the tribe, please click subscribe. To get updated on new videos, please click the bell icon. Until next time, daydreamers, toodles.